one tile per 1000 XP. This is my movement restricted Iron Man account and the rules are simple. I can only walk on tiles I've unlocked and I unlock a new tile every 1000 XP. My challenge will be to defeat the Culinaromancer and the Tazar fight caves while working within these restrictions. To do so, I will have to rethink and rediscover how RuneScape is played today. This is Tile Bound. Alright, let's do some... Let's open up some crates. Open up some loot boxes. Alright, let's do this. First crate. Yeah, 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 I just opened it up. Okay, we got some pages. Next crate. Oh my gosh. Nothing? I'll take 16k though. Some iron ore. Ranners. Nice. I want the pet. That would be sweet. Now I'm just spoiled. I'm like, oh, I'll, I'll get... I'll get a pet this time? Sure, why not? I got everything else already. Willow seeds? Okay. 20k. Seven Ranars, very nice. See, that's where those ten herb lore levels come in. Getting some better herbs. Ooh. Hood and gloves. I think that might be the full set for me. I honestly have no idea. No, I don't think that's even close. I need the legs, boots. Alright, let's pull out the axe. For good luck. Actually, I need the space. Essence is nice, too. Dude, how many gloves am I gonna get? More burnt pages. I'm feeling a pet, come on. Look it up. Oh, that was a little baby. We're flying through, we only got four more left. 34k. Lots and lots of pages. So these charge up my uh, fiery tome that I got. Tome of Fire. Dang, 260k. So much money. Okay, last one. Alright, well... Honestly, that was pretty good. We got quite a few pieces of the Pyromancer set, plenty of pages, lots of cash, and let's see, iron ore. Let's check out all of our ore. Here we got a nice little stash to get us started. The herbs are going to be great. 25 guams. There's another couple levels, some Marantils. Not bad! So now I'm just doing some fishing and cooking at Barbarian Village. I think my next goal is going to be to bust out a bunch of quests. Just the, the early game easy quests. Start getting some quest points, start working toward getting RFD going. Uh, recipe for disaster, that's the quest line we need for to fight the Culinaromancer and get our Barrow's Gloves. Uh, so that's the main goal of the account. I also decided to start AFKing some fishing, just because we're going to need to get sharks at some point for the fight caves. So I figured why not get cracking on that. Managed to get to 47 fishing and 48 cooking the past couple days, so making some solid progress. 50 cooking. 49 fishing. Oh, one more. Nice. 50 fishing. Can now harpoon swordfish. Very cool. Alright, well now that we have swordfish, I wonder if I even have a harpoon spot. Because we gotta fish up at least one, right? Just, just to show that we can. I don't know, maybe Fishing Guild is the way to go. 
Because I think this is kind of nearby where we need to go for the arty easy diary to get our cape that lets us teleport to our Dugan. <laughs> I mean, our Doin. Wouldn't be horrible. Uh, the benefit of the fishing guild is that there is a passive plus seven level to your fishing. Maybe I do just go for this. Definitely gonna want that if I'm gonna be fishing for sharks. I could also path right by the tower with the chaos druids in it as well. See, we have this bank here, so I could go across this log, uh, which requires a, an agility level of, I think, 38, which we have just high enough to do. Um, this gets us right next to the biohazard and plague city uh, quest start locations. That's great. Uh, we could pop up here, you know, unlock this tower, and then Look our way up to the to the fishing guild. I, I like that. Also, the tower gets us closer to this combat arena. This is what we need um, in order to unlock part of the easy Ardugan diary. Honestly, it's a lot of tiles for something we don't really need right now, but seeing as getting sharks is going to help us towards like the main goal of the account, which is to take on the fight cave. Um, I don't have a problem doing this, so let's let's do it. Let's get the fishing guild. You already know what it is. Can't go by a stall without doing some thieving. Although I will say, you are four times as likely to get uh, the rocky pet from the wine stall as you are from the cake stall. And that's just because the cakes respawn so quickly. Although the wines take so long to respawn that in terms of chances per hour, it, it, it may be the same. Just with wines, you only need to click maybe a quarter as much. Okay. Let's hit this guild up. I think I'm just gonna click right on this log. path straight to it. Really, that was the fastest path. Very cool. New agility training method. I guess we just... Well, let me walk by this door, because we'll need it for biohazard. And then, yeah, I think we just start pathing over there. There's the Chaos Druid Tower. And... There is the fishing guild. Wonder if we can even get in there. <laughs> oh my god, 68 fishing. Why do I embarrass myself like this? I should look these things up. Alright, well I don't really want to get 68 fishing right now. Alright, let's get these quests. First one, the classic, Cook's Assistant. It's kind of nice collecting quest items on an Iron Man. Normally when you do quests on a regular account, you just go to the Grand Exchange and buy everything you need. Helps with the immersion to actually go fetch it yourself. Got your bucket of milk, pot of flour, and a fresh egg. Sweet. Alright, next quest, X marks a spot. I believe X marks a spot is the beginner, like, clue quest. Clue scroll quest. Uh, gives new players an intro to what clue scrolls are. And we start it over here with Veos. Not the same Veos we talked to at serum. I mean, it's the same guy, but he's in two places. Alright, you found a scroll. Read treasure scroll. Okay, so one east, seven north. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven north, but then he goes one south. 
Okay, one, two, three, four. Oh, of course this is gonna be in the way. It's right here though. Alright. Nice. Okay, this is behind Lumbridge Castle. Looking like there. So whoa. Mysterious orb. Alright, when I feel the orb it is cold. So I already kinda know where this is. Yeah, look, we're getting warmer. Wow, visibly shaking and burns to this touch. It must be this spot. Oh, wow, that was a really lucky guess. The cipher reveals where to dig next. This is seven letter word, three letter, three letter. Assuming this is the, so that would be a T here. So like under the T, next to the T stall in Varrock. I don't know, something like that. Or maybe it's Draenor Pigpen. That that could make sense. I don't know. Just a guess. I'm not sure. Um, not really sure what it is, but we could we could try that. Sweet. You do dig up an ancient casket. As you do, you hear a faint whispering. You can't make out what it says though. Do I open it? Oh. What? I gotta- I did all the work to- and now I gotta give it to Veos? What a ripoff. Alright, bro. I found your treasure for you. Oh, I'll just take that off your hands for you. Great, thanks. Cool, another quest point. Ooh, I got a lamp. 200 coins and another clue scroll. Definitely gonna use that XP lamp in herb lore. Nice, 300 herb lore XP. Oh, sweet, I think that got me like two levels. When I'm level 12, I can make strength potions. Oh, sweet, another, another lamp. Let's put that baby in herb lore. Another 120. All right, next quest, finishing off Rune Mysteries. Oh, what the heck? The simp's wearing a party hat. Am I crazy? Do they always wear that? I feel like maybe they just wear that during uh, events. Also, I need an onion, so I'm gonna... I'm gonna go plant some onions over here in my allotment that I have unlocked. Oh man, my cabbage has died. All right, hopefully the onions work out a little better. No compost either? Oh, I think this compost bin should be done over here though. Yeah, I threw a bunch of stuff in here, a bunch of weeds. No compost to take. How long does this thing, oh my, do I have to close it? All right guys, I'm learning. That's so annoying, it's been in there for like a week or something. Is it done? Okay. I am looking for the head wizard. The Duke said he might be interested in this talisman. The last piece of the puzzle, the legacy of our ancestors. I need time to study this tile bound. Can you please do this task while I st <laughs> do this task while you study? Okay. Sure. All right. Well, let's go drop this off in Barrock. Oh, we can use our chronicle. Sometimes I forget I have this thing. Nice. All right, Aubrey, I got a package for you. All right, seems like this talisman is the key to unlocking whatever stuff they've been researching. He was a little vague about it, though. Something about rune essence? I don't know. We got to go back and give his notes back to Cerador. 
This is where the Necklace of Passage comes in handy. Probably one of the last times we're going to have to come to Wizard's Tower, so... I'm all good using the last charge. Come on, man. Come back over here. <laughs> this is like the tile man experience, right? Oh! Yep, we gave him the notes. And here are his notes. Like, these guys are like literally passing notes through me. When this tower burnt down, the secret of creating runes was lost for all time. Except it wasn't. Found some info in these ruins. There's a magic rock. In the north. This rock was called the Rune Essence. Apparently by simply breaking a chunk from it, a rune stone can be fashioned. Last week, Aubrey found some teleport spell that takes you to the Rune Essence. And now we just need to be able to find these elemental altars to turn the essence into runes. Yeah, I'm still not really sure what this has to do with me. Talisman is the key to the elemental altar of air. Alright, alright. Man, this guy's got a lot to say. Sweet, we did it! Rune Mystery's done, one quest point. He gave us the air talisman back, which is nice. And now we have access to this Rune Essence mine. Let's go check it out. Alright, well I guess this is instanced, but... I've still marked the tile, you can see it's updated. Sweet, well if we ever want to do rune crafting, um, <laughs> now we can. Also, we're gonna have to teleport out of here. Sweet, 20 quest points. Okay, moving right along. Next up, Witch's Potion. Um, I don't think, I don't know if that allotment's gonna be done. Yeah, I'm just gonna go over to the Lumbridge General Store. There's an onion spawn up there. We'll just use that one. Alright, Witch's Potion. I, for some reason I thought this was in Volador, but it's actually uh, in Remington. This should be an easy quest. I think I just talked to this lady, uh, the witch and give her all the stuff she needs. I'm in search of a quest. Sure, I'll become proficient in the dark arts. I've got everything you need, except for the rat's tail. How do I get this? Probably kill a giant rat. Oh, never mind. According to good old Slayer music, I can just kill one of these guys. Easy peasy. Alright, drop him in the cauldron. Oh, I get to drink it? Feel myself imbued with power? Nice! Get a little magic XP. Alright, monk's friend, let's do it. We're actually gonna need these tiles for, um... When we get our arty cloak, too, which I'm really looking forward to getting. I don't know, I'm not quite ready to spend all those tiles on, uh, I think Plague City is the quest. It's so many. Then we also start Biohazard. I guess it's not that bad. I mean, it's probably going to be like 200 something. And I guess some, some guys stole this kid's blanket, so we got to go get it. Okay, here we go. I think a ladder should appear here, and then there's the blanket. <sighs> Thieves stealing a poor kid's blanket. What are you doing? All right, now he wants me to help find his buddy who was supposed to get wine for his party. All right, dude, sure, why not? This is kind of a random quest. <laughs> Hey bro, where you been? You got the goods? Where's the wine? 
He's hiccuping quite a bit. Look, we got another quest about some guy who got drunk. This time we're helping to sober him up, so I guess that's good. Ooh, let's party! Alright, that's it for this episode. Made some good progress, got some quests done. Um, just want to add, if you haven't checked out the Discord yet, check it out. There's a link down in the description. Um, it's a ton of fun. There's, geez, like 150 people now who have made their own Tile Man mode accounts. A uh, bunch of people just sharing their experiences, chatting. Uh, like 10 of us on Friday just jumped into an Among Us game. Yeah, it's a lot of fun, and we'd love to have more people. We'd love to meet you, so... Check out that link down in the description and yeah, pop in and say hi. Anyway, thanks again for watching. See you next time.